What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this very cool and special box, I have the Nike Tiempo Legend 10 Elite Special Edition 30. Now 30 stands for 30 years of Nike Tiempo. First, of course, debuted in the World Cup Final Brazil versus Italy back in 1994, if you can believe it. That was one year before I was born. Pretty crazy. Let's hop into the unboxing. So these come in a absolutely beautiful all white sort of pearlescent colored box. I think they absolutely smashed it with the design of this box and the colorway uh, for for my uh, for my taste at least. So the special edition box obviously has the pattern of the upper material of the tempo. So if I kind of move it like this, oh there you go, nice. You can kind of see the reflection of the light, and you can see that really nice grid pattern there, almost like. Um, I don't know, like lizard scales or something. Very, very cool. Then you move the box over and you've got the Tiempo logo, which is that circle with the line through it. You've got X, which stands for Tiempo X or Tiempo 10, and then 2024, indicating the year these came out. You've got the Tiempo logo there on the one side. There's your other Tiempo logo. And then on the back, just the normal Nike swoosh, just do it, all the trademark information there. Oh, yeah, and this as well. So there's your sizing. I'll kind of open the box up a little bit. You can uh, see the sizing there. Legend 10 Elite FG30 in uh, atomic teal and sail. That's your sort of two colors. Now, the interesting thing about this pair of football boots, so this particular pair is the, uh, what is it called? Atomic teal. So the atomic teal, the, the one that has atomic teal all over it with the sail or more like an off-white swoosh, those are going to be limited, uh, but more available than the reverse colorway, which will be all that like off-white sail colorway. And then the atomic teal swoosh, those will be coming in like a crazy nice box with the sort of that, those um, like suede bags that the special edition Tiempo I have down here. So these ones, so do you, if you remember the unboxing of these ones, they came with those amazing bags. So my understanding is that the sale model with the atomic teal swoosh, the reverse colorway will be much, much more limited. So stay tuned, I'm gonna try and get a pair of those. If I can't, it is what it is, um, but at least we get the limited edition ones um, in the Tempo 30. So without further ado, let's get these bad boys unboxed. I have seen photos of them and in photos they look fine. I don't know how I feel about them. I'm definitely more a fan, I think. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then you get like this emerald green. I'm sure Nike would be like, it's atomic teal. Well, this looks green. So it's basically like emerald green. That's really cool with that pattern on the inside. And then let's get these unboxed. So as I said before, the photos. Oh, very nice. Photos do not do these justice. Holy moly. Okay, I actually really rate this color. That's sick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. These are, I reckon these are an Oh My Days rating of, I'm going to give these an 8.6. Nah, 8.4. I'm going to give these an 8.4. These are super cool. Different pattern as well than the other models that I've tried. So the gold edition and the hyper mango or whatever those were called for the women's world cup, both really get nice colorways. I think this one is better than both of those. I love this sail colorway that like off white is so clean looking some really nice details in there. Let's get the other one unboxed as well. So there you go. There's that other one. Obviously it's the same <laughs> and, uh, here we go. So oop, little tag there. Look at there. Okay. So this is, this is the color scheme of the other model. So obviously you've got, you know, this one, and then you've got the all kind of sail off white colorway with the logos. You got the Nike logo, the patterning and everything. Um, same. Oh, there you go. Cool. And then the other side says 1994. That's pretty sweet. Awesome. Nice little string bag there. So we'll get this out of the way and then throw these bad boys down. Okay, very, very cool. All right, so really nice Tiempo Legend 10 Elite. It is a boot that I have worn quite a bit. 
I was able to wear it for a game last season and sort of discovered that these are definitely not a boot that fits my foot particularly well. As you can see from a top-down shot, they are pretty, pretty narrow. Um, in comparison, I actually have a pair of the Holland GX2s that I just reviewed or just released or just reviewed, I guess. Um, so sneak peek if you haven't, uh, if this video hasn't released yet, but you can see the difference is in width. I mean, the, the GX with the upper and stuff will stretch quite a lot more. Um, so you get the, you get the idea, but very, very nice colorway. So let's go over some tech specs. As I said before, this is uh, the 30th anniversary boots for the Nike Tiempo, the Nike Premier Tiempo, which is the boot that released back in 1994 was the first competitive football boot for Nike. So during that World Cup, 10 players between the two teams, between Brazil and Italy, had the Nike Premier Tiempo in 1994. And then, of course, 10 years later, or 30 years later, excuse me, we have the Tiempo 10, which is now not kangaroo leather anymore, is significantly lighter than the original model, and has knit, of course, and some other cool features. So let's go over those tech specs now. So the new upper is called Fly Touch Plus. You can see the logoing here on the medial side of the mid, uh, the ankle area or the heel area right there. It is a nice material. I find this particular colorway is actually quite a lot stickier than some of the other models, um, particularly the two that I've reviewed already. This is definitely a lot stickier. And so I imagine you'll get a pretty good, um, I guess like whip on the ball or a little bit extra grip. It is pretty soft for a non Technically, it's not real K leather, uh, so but like a fake leather, basically. My whole spiel about this boot is that it's basically the next generation CTR. It's a little bit narrower than what the CTR models were, but this is basically the same upper as Kangalite. It's very, very similar. It's got a lot of the same features. It's less water you know, absorbing. It's got some very, very similar features to those. And so my whole theory is that this is just basically... Uh, CTR Maestri 4. Now, the Kangalite uh, also was a little bit thicker than the Fly Touch Plus. Fly Touch Plus, Plus, they've obviously engineered to be thinner and a little bit more pliable, more comfortable in general, and have a really nice touch on the ball, um, which these do. I think these have a great touch on the ball. They feel really nice, really locked in as well, which is great. 55% less water retention than the K Leather from Tiempo 9, which I don't know if I really care about that, but it is, you know, just marketing material, I suppose. You've got Flyknit here through the lacing system area, which sort of ties the whole package together. I don't know if I would prefer this with a normal standard U-throat tongue or not. I think the fact that they did do this first with the Flyknit tongue in the previous generation, Tiempo Legend 9. In fact, let me grab those white ones that I was talking about before. So um, here's the you know previous generation Tiempo 9 and then there's the Tiempo 10. So it is quite a little bit different. You, you don't have that kind of seam here anymore and the tongue is significantly thinner than the Flyknit here through the Tiempo Legend 9. Um, but the shape, obviously you can see the Tiempo Legend 9 is quite a bit wider. Keep in mind that this boot I haven't worn for a play test or something. So these boots are both, both basically brand new. Um, so the, you know, the overall shape is definitely wider on the Tampa Legend 9, but I think the fact that they did introduce the Flyknit for this leather model, um, made the transition into Tampa Legend 10 quite a bit more natural feeling, I guess. And you sort of, you know, players got used to having a more wrapped sock-like sensation for a Tiempo, which of course with a leather boot is a very unique sensation there. They... Also have shaved down a lot of the foam pods compared to the previous generation. So instead of having uh, the foam pods here, we'll switch again. Uh, instead of having foam pods here in the forefoot, and then you've got a big foam pod here in the medial side of the midfoot as well for more of like touch and passing, you've basically reduced that to just the thinness of this Fly Touch Plus. So you get a really nice, uh, not quite barefoot, but it is a really nice touch on the ball all around. It's a very consistent touch, which is super nice. The heel area is very similar to the GX series. So it's a heel that they've basically cored out a little bit of this uh, internal heel counter. So you do get quite a bit of flexibility there. I did find because of the shape of the boot, my midfoot stretches uh, the midfoot out this direction. And so what that does is that pulls essentially these like this 
Uh, and so I get this kind of slippage here in the heel area because of the fact that my foot's so wide in the midfoot and the toe box area. Um, that's just a byproduct of basically not just just not fitting in the boots very well. And so for me, it's one of those situations where I love the look of these boots. I love, I actually really enjoy the way they feel. I would probably wear them if they actually fit me, but it's just one of those situations that like the blistering and the heel irrit heel ir irritation, can't speak, is a byproduct of the boots not fitting. That's why I'm so that's why I always say like get boots that fit your foot, right? Sole plate is very, very simple. Lots of conical studs one chevron stud in the toe area you got bladed studs in the heel i actually really like this sole plate it's super neutral it feels great on ag feels great on fg and i would absolutely recommend this sole plate for anyone looking you've got these two little cutouts here on kind of the knuckle and the toe of your big toe um, they're supposed to reduce pressure i don't really know if that's actually the case like i don't i don't really notice anything compared to other models um, but really, really nice sole plate in my opinion. I think they should just put this sole plate on all of their boots and it would make, other than the Vapor maybe, um, but you put the sole plate on the GX and people would freak out because I think it would be so, so good. And the conical studs obviously are an instant classic. So some nice detailing here as well. You got the Tampa logo on the back, of course the Fly Touch logo and the white swoosh. Overall, super nice colorway. I really actually rate these. I was really surprised. The photos really didn't do this boot justice at all. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of the photos, and then let me know if your, um, if your opinion has changed since seeing them on camera. So without further ado, let's hop into the un... We just did the unboxing. Brain isn't working today, it's a Sunday. Uh, into the on feet portion of the video and we will get on with it. Let's hop into it. All right, fam, out here in the backyard with the Tiempo Legend 1030 or 1030th anniversary. Really excited to try these on. I think they're gonna look sick with the black kit. So here you go in the sunlight. They look stunning in my opinion. I love this sort of reflective material um, the or the reflective finish they've put on the Fly Touch Plus looks super super cool so let's get these on feet uh of course this is this video is probably going to go up before these are actually publicly available so make sure you have your timer set they come out on the 15th of this month oh yeah pretty snug i gotta admit that being said we foot grip socks do the trick they are really nice and thin so gives me a little more wiggle room which is lovely so we'll get these laced up fly touch plus feels really nice around your foot as i said before the shape of the football boots aren't going to be my favorite uh, but the material that fly touch plus is is very reminiscent it's it's honestly probably the same dna from nike and produced in the same sort of way that Kangalite is like I was saying before um, and it's a it's a material that when you get the shape right and you if you know if you fit in the tempo I think this would be such a good boot to wear um, they you know it wraps your foot really well gives you a really nice sensation on ball and uh, you know there was a reason why I really tried to break the pink colorway in because they were super super cool and I really liked the idea of what you know, a CTR four could feel like, even though these are technically yes, a tempo. Um, but yeah, anyway, so there you go. And my, oh my. So they are fitting a little bit too tight for me. Um, from a sizing perspective though, they're perfect. Nine us definitely would go true to size, but as you can see here, lots of bowing of that upper. Um, it's definitely too thin here in this area. And the toe box I would say is, is fine. Very similar to GX one. So it is pretty, pretty snug. Um, I think my biggest complaint isn't with the toe box area. It's actually with the width of the boot, which just isn't really tempo anymore. If I'm honest, I think tempo should be a boot that fits most foot shapes and doesn't you know, in photos and stuff, of course, it's going to look better if they're super thin and elegant and fast looking. Um, but in reality, most people don't have super thin feet. There's feet of all foot shapes. And so making a boot like the Tiempo in a way that really sort of hurts people with wide feet and sort of puts them off is unfortunate. But as you can see, a little bit of wiggle room there in the toe box area. The, the upper does, Fly Touch Plus does move a little bit with your foot, which is super nice. Um, the fly knit in the lacing system area feels super good as well. I think it wraps your foot really nicely and it is going to give you a little bit of flex. So if you have 
sort of regular to thin feet, I think you're going to fit in these totally fine. The fly knit in the midfoot is going to give you a really nice wrap sensation around your foot. But if you have wider feet like me, I'd probably stay away from these simply because they're going to provide a little bit too much hot spot there on the outside of the boots. So there's a good look at the full full beans. I think they look really, really nice. I really like the colorway, honestly. I think the reverse colorway is going to be even better. I think that colorway is going to be like S tier level of looks. And so I'm really going to try to get a pair of those really limited versions. Um, but honestly, the metallic finish on these, these like whatever they're called, atomic teal or whatever the color is, um, is, is looks really nice. And on feet, they're going to be sick with most kits. If you wear an all white kit, these are going to be absolutely class An all black kit, same thing. Um, they're going to clash a little bit with certain colors, but whatever. At the end of the day, it's all about what you want and what you like to wear. But I think if you, you know, get a pair of Wii Foot Grip Socks via the link down in the description box below, you can definitely, uh, you know, do the tube sock thing and then they'll look a little bit better with the contrast in the white. So that's really nice. So Tampa Legend 10 Touch On Ball, as I said, super thin, very consistent. That's one thing that I really like about this boot. So regardless of whether you're juggling, whether you're doing sort of inside foot like Iniesta touches, whether you're you know, dribbling with the outside of the foot or whatever, all of those touches are going to feel super consistent because the material is the same around the entirety of the upper. So, you know, say for like back heeling the ball or shooting with literally right on the laces, you're going to get the same fly touch plus um, feeling underfoot, which, or excuse me, on the ball, which is really, really exciting. And it also gives you just one of the most sort of all around experiences. Again, as I said before, I have issues with the fact that they called it a Tiempo, it's not leather anymore, and it's too thin. But overall, if I was to fit in this boot, I think I would wear these all the time because the sole plate feels great. Um, the Fly Touch Plus material is really nice. It reminds me a lot, as I said before, of Kangalite, and that was a material that I absolutely loved in high school. Um, but overall, like, I really wish I fit in these because I think they are a cool product, even though I don't think they're deserving of that Tiempo name. Excuse me, bees are everywhere now. Um, but overall, again, as I said, so good. And uh, if you do fit in these, I think these are going to be a great option for you if you can get over the fact that they're not leather anymore, which I know for a lot of people is sort of a turnoff. But once you try them, especially in a color like this, which is really, really pretty and looks really cool, definitely would recommend. So if you guys are interested in any other questions, if I didn't answer them about this football boot, um, you know, let me know down in the comment section below. I also have other videos. So before you ask a question about like performance or play testing or all that stuff, I might try and do a play test of these just because it's the only tempo I have left. Um, I ended up selling the other two colors because they didn't fit very well. I might try to do a play test of these just to give you guys an idea of what it's actually like to play in a boot that isn't as, you know, doesn't fit as well. Um, but we will see on that one. If there is anything, you know, other questions, go watch those previous Tiempo 10 videos just to make sure that, you know, I haven't answered, I'll pro I've probably answered your question in one of those other videos. If I haven't, leave them down in the comment section below. Or if you have another random question about football boots in general, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, really helps out. Um, first link will be for the Wii Foot Grip Socks and then you can always go to Ultra Football to pick these up on the 15th. They are pretty limited, so make sure you have your timers ready for you. Um, they're gonna be pretty limited across the entire world as well. Uh, and you can pick up merch like this, which is super cool with the branding and everything on it. So so as always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.